There's a condition that some of the teeth have that's called enamel hypoplasia or enamel hypocalcification. And basically, this means the enamel didn't form really well. So a lot of these teeth that this occurs on are the first permanent molars. So this is what we're looking for when we're six or seven as these molars are coming in. You can't really tell from an x-ray that they're going to have this effect. There's not really one demographic group that's more prone to it. It's just going to be across the board. And with the enamel being weakened, it usually has appearance of uh, brown, yellowish color. It almost looks like chalk. And unfortunately, they're, the teeth are, are more brittle, they're more porous, and they're m way more susceptible to, um, to breaking down and getting, having a cavity that has to be fixed on a brand new tooth. And depending upon the amount of tooth structure that's been affected, will dictate with what kind of restoration we can offer. Sometimes, in many cases, we can offer just a white filling. We just clean out the one little area and it's done. But if the entire tooth has been affected, then we may be having to talk about putting a cap or a crown over the tooth uh, because that's the only way to restore it. Because this, this enamel that's been um, compromised does not bond well to the white material that we use for fillings.